It's been almost three months since our community lost one of its treasures, Judy Heffernan, and many of us are still reeling from this loss. Judy possessed a rare blend of qualities, a warm, welcoming, and approachable demeanor, encouraging people to follow their dreams, and often providing them with the tools to do so, and running a corporation, all the while still managing to find the time for whoever needed her advice and guidance. Those of us lucky enough to know Judy know that the list of her wonderful attributes is impressively long and includes being a devoted wife, mother, and grandmother. Judy most certainly left this world a far better place because she was here, and all of us far better people for having known her. It's hard to imagine a world without Judy in it, but Judy's spirit will live on in those of us who knew her, as well as in our community, for many years to come. Early this year, uh, Judy Heffern was selected as one of the most influential people in the city of Peterborough. If that list had have included uh, most loved, most respected, or most admired, she would have been on that as well. Well, obviously, uh, Judy's impact in the community is going to be felt for a long time. Judy Heffernan was a business associate. She was a mentor, and she was one of my best friends. So many times we would sit over a glass of wine and chat about different things, our kids and, and our grandkids, who she was so very proud of. Uh, and me being a brand new grandma, uh, she had lots of insight for me, and not only was she a mentor to me, but um, a very special friend. It was a great pleasure for me to work with Judy for many, many years in my capacity as the chair of the CFDC, and as well as uh, since I became mayor, dealing with her on a number of issues. She always brought a level of decorum to anything we did that uh, was superior to uh, most others. Certainly on behalf of City Council, we extend our condolences to Roy and the family. I miss Judy every day, and there are certain little things I miss about Judy. Um, you sit down, you have a glass of wine, you think, oh, I miss Judy. Um, when it comes to a seasonal change, I miss Judy because she's not there to tell me what color lipstick is the latest fad. When Judy was diagnosed, um, a few months ago and it became apparent that she was only going to have a short period of time to live. Um, I was really pleased to be able to uh, get a quilt for cancer for her. It's a great organization and um, I know she really appreciated it. I was so happy uh, to speak to her the day that she got it and uh, it was all her colors and those of you that know Judy, she loved those autumn colors. And it reminds me of a comment that I used at, or a statement that I used at the uh, funeral for our uh, funeral service for Judy, and that is uh, those who we have loved and lost are no longer where they used to be. They are now forever in our hearts and our thoughts. The community has lost an exceptional woman who always put business in the forefront, who always put networking in the forefront. Judy was everything to everyone to every business and she will be sorely missed. For me personally I'm going to remember her, her sense of humor. She was also a little bit mischievous too. I remember golfing in the chamber tournament one day with Judy and two other women. We had a, a fantastic day but we were uh, following this one foursome and as the guy ahead of us pulled his driver out of its sock Judy said, would you look at the size of his whacker? We had a great day that day. It was uh, had us in stitches the whole time. So here's to you, Judy. Here's to some excellent years. Here's to you, Judy. Miss you. See you again. <laughs>